Hello, Will here with Will Folio at willfolio.com and in this video I'm going to talk about why Catholics worship Mary and that right there is probably going to get a reaction out of people um, I think uh, it has to do with I don't know if it's ignorance or negligence on the parts of both Catholics and Protestants. Okay, so Protestants think Catholics worship Mary, and there's probably, they're, they're probably, I, I mean, I never asked a Protestant why they think Catholics worship Mary, um, unless they were ex Catholics, and I, you know, they used to be Catholic and they say they worship Mary and I would say why do you think Catholics worship Mary and they, they'd say because that's what my mother taught me to do and that's what her mother taught her to do or something like that um, other Protestants I just I, I think I may have asked a few why they think that and they just are kind of taken back thinking I just thought Catholics worship Mary. I didn't know they didn't, or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. But, putting part of the blame on Catholics, <coughs> Catholics seem to ignore the fact that there are people in the vicinity of the church who do worship Mary. Um, most Catholics don't worship Mary, but there are Catholics who do. And so, I want to start off by stating why I think these particular Catholics do worship Mary. <coughs> and... I think it's based on what these other ex-Catholics have told me. It's a family tradition. Uh, Catholicism, you know, goes all the way back to Jesus, which is 2,000 years ago. I mean, over, almost, well, 2,000 years ago, I'll just say that. And, um... You know, things get kind of mixed up when people um, really don't go to official sources to learn about the faith. They just go by what their mothers taught them or what their family taught them. And this especially happens in places in the world where uh, places like Mexico or third world countries, Mexico is not really a third world country, but Mexico has, Mexico is, is not as developed of a country as the United States is, and there are areas in Mexico that are extremely poor, and areas of Mexico that are extremely rural, where there aren't any churches around, but yet the people are still Catholic, and so um, I think a lot of people in any religion, well, let's talk about Christianity, people in Christianity that are ignorant of the real gospel and the real teachings of Christianity, people like that who maybe know something of Christianity, but there's a lot of gaps in their faith, they tend to fill in those gaps with worldly views. So, um, a lot of people might think, since we pray to Mary and bring petitions to her, um, that must mean she has some kind of divine power. And these are, like I said, these are people who are ignorant of the faith because they're either coming from places in the world where they're unable to be educated in the faith, or they're descended from people who come from those places in the world. And so they worship Mary, not realizing that, that the church teaches, actually teaches against the worship of Mary. 
So, um, if you think we're worshiping Mary simply because we pray to her, well, um, praying to somebody is not necessarily an act of worship. I mean, in order for it to be an act of worship, there has to be a um, some kind of um, acknowledgement or some kind of statement that the person you're praying to is divine. And you, the, the definition of worship, at least in the United States, in the way we speak English, the definition of worship is honoring somebody as being divine. Um, in England, it's different. Um, honoring somebody as being divine is considered to be adoration. And in England, they adore God. Um, they don't, um, they don't really, I mean, they might worship God, but worshiping Mary in England is not the same thing as worshiping Mary in the United States. Worship has a different meaning in England than it does in the United States. Um, so, um, but the Catholic Church teaches against honoring Mary as being divine. And the people that do worship Mary are ignorant of this teaching. Um, they're even ignorant of the Ten Commandments. They don't. They don't read the Bible. A lot of this comes from people being illiterate, and they're not. They don't. They're not educated enough to read the Bible because they don't know how to read. And then they fill in the gaps with worldly views and pass that on to their children and their children pass that on to their children and these family traditions develop and it stays in the family because they're in such a such an isolated area that um, this whole community develops these set, this these teachings and these beliefs that are apart from the official tradition of the church and so you have these family traditions that develop, and that's why Catholics worship Mary. That is to say, there are a few out of the billions of Catholics that are in the world, there, are a, there is a small percentage of the Catholic Church that does worship Mary. But the Church teaches against doing that, and the people who worship Mary are simply ignorant of this teaching. So, um... What happens is people come to the United States and are become educated. They read the Bible and think Catholics worship Mary because I was Catholic uh, growing up and my mother taught me to worship Mary. This is wrong. I should leave the Catholic Church. Well, that's it's kind of hasty. Um, if you're going to leave the Catholic Church, you really should talk to a priest or someone knowledgeable of the faith before you leave the Catholic Church and they're just up and leaving. But if you have left the Catholic Church for that reason, um, I think you should really reconsider because uh, that's really not the right reason to leave the Catholic Church because of a misconception. Um, but Protestants may believe that all Catholics worship Mary because we pray to her. And that's, that's false. I mean, we may pray to Mary, but like I said, we don't honor Mary as being divine. And so our prayers to Mary are not acts of worship. In order for it to be an act of worship, there needs to be some kind of honoring of that person as being divine. Which means that praying to God is not an act of worship necessarily. In order for it to be an act of worship, God has to be honored as being divine, which means that he is supreme in power and authority, and there is no one before him in anything. Truly, to be a worshiper of God, he must be a singular object of devotion in your life, which means that your religion has to consist of more than just going to church on Sunday. You have to really be thinking of God at all times of your life and consider yourself to be sinning when you forget about God. I mean, if you forget about God, you are going to sin. Um, even if it's somewhat inadvertent, the only way you can not sin is to continually ponder God and ponder His grace and ponder and contemplate His salvation. 
um, even when you put down your Bible, even when you walk out of the doors of your church on Sunday, uh, what are you doing um, after that? Do you go home and flip on the ball game? And do you um, go out go out to eat? And if you do go out to eat with your family or your friends, what is it that you're talking about? If you think you're fellowshipping at church, what are you talking about when you fellowship? Are you talking about God and His grace and His salvation and the cross of Jesus and and uh, communion and fellowship of the Holy Spirit? Or are you talking about secular things and worldly things as if those things have become more important than God because you paid your dues to worshiping God and now it's time to move on from God back to worldly things? Well, if you're doing that, you're not really a worshiper of God even if you did raise your hands in church and praise God. Um, God only accepts it as worship as if it's a constant thing, or at least if you intend for it to be a constant thing, because sometimes we do forget about God. That doesn't mean we've never worshipped God. It's easy for our attention to, to stray. But um, unless God is really a singular object of devotion in your life, you're not a worshipper of Him. And Mary may be a singular vessel of devotion, as we say in the Catholic Church, but that doesn't mean she's an object of devotion. She's just a means by which we worship God, like an instrument uh, for worshiping God. Um, just like you would play a musical instrument to worship God. But really, anybody can be an instrument of God's glory and anybody can be an instrument of worship. If you're devoted to anybody in the name of Jesus, you are worshiping Jesus, not that person. But in as much as you are honoring that person, it pleases God for you to do that. Because God wants us to honor everyone. Not just Mary, but it's good to honor Mary because she is someone whom which God wants us to honor. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't want to continue rambling on, but um, I'm going to title this video, Why Catholics Worship Mary. Maybe it'll get some attention and see what happens and see if you feel like leaving a comment and then leave a comment I'll write a blog about it and uh, this is Will at Willfolio log on to willfolio.com and check out the blog and if I do write a blog post on the subject I'll post a link in the player you can go to that blog post and read more about what I have to say about the worship of Mary the worship of saints and um, what is said about idolatry in the Catholic Church. So thanks for watching. This is Will and God bless you.